Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Truth and it's the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. We're in Sanctuary, the safe city built on top of a dull mining ship. And uh, yeah, it's protected by an energy shield, protecting us from uh, those uh, energy barrages from Hyperion's ship over there in the sky. Well, not even in the sky, it's a spaceship, so it's technically, well, in space, giving you an indication of how huge that freaking thing is. And the moon behind it is destroyed, by the way, another interesting detail. But uh, we'll head towards the open wild. So today we're going to first do the side quest involving the assassins. So the first assassin is Assassin Watt, and we need to kill him with a pistol. We'll get to that when we get to him. But first, let's head over there, because we have enough trouble as it is so that we don't want to deal with extra assassins. And since we bought the storage tech upgrade, we also have access to three weapons now. So we have the Explosive Torque Shotgun we're holding right now, the Maliwan Fire SMG, and the Hyperion Sniper Rifle for extra accuracy when we're holding down the zoom. Ooh, there's a flood of fire. Hmm... I think I'm gonna buy the pistol over here, the bandit pistol, so incredibly bad accuracy, but at least we'll have some uh, powerful uh, options to fire away with. Although the tinderbox might actually work on that as well. You know what, never mind. Kinda made a miss by that. No, never mind, let's keep going. So there's actually two ways out of this map, and one way is through this cave, which we'll do first to see... Uh, what we can do, so over here on the right, there's another exit. And we can exit actually the area through a vehicle. And every area has its own style. So we went from Three Horns Divide to the Three Horns Valley. And as you can see, the um, snow was actually dissipating as well. So the frost rings, uh, and we see the industry here as well, pumping up whatever it is out of the ground. But we're right next to the building where the assassins are actually hiding out. So we'll do that first. I think I should be fine level-wise if I uh, remember which button to press to get uh, zero out of his uh, car. Let's start off with a sniper rifle shot because I think I might be able to get a bandit from over here. Oh, there they are. There we go with the first one. As I've managed to hit him. Let's just go invisible first. There we go, with the Nomad, then switch over to the shotgun, maybe. There we go. And there we go. So I really like Torque shotguns, because they're really, really powerful up close. They just blast a bunch of uh, explosive pallets. Because, of course, Torque still all about explosions. So every single pallet is its own explosion, which is really, really cool. This guy hasn't seen me yet. And let's see. There we go. And uh, Blamo. Oh god. Ow. Yeah, kill me. Kill me. I'm gonna switch weapons. Because the fire will probably be better at killing this guy. Although, yes. there we go. That took a while. And if I zoom in with the Molly one, that's actually fine. But uh, otherwise, that was a... Uh, Bit of a tougher fight. They're at my level, so that's definitely not the problem, but I shouldn't have uh, been standing in the middle there. Kind of bit me in the ass, but let's reload everything while we're at it. So with a bit of parkouring, you can actually get on top of most of the buildings. Like this. And usually there's a, a weapons chest for your troubles as well, although I don't see one over here. So might be wrong about that. Although there is one over there, so... Probably should be able to switch over to that. There we go. Using the container, we can actually get this weapons chest over here. Getting us maybe something fancy. Ooh, the burning. So that's all pistols. It's all level 11, though. I'm going to go for the burning assassin and the leather iron. The other ones I'm going to leave here. Although, let's just grab that as well. Is that were pretty in those were pretty interesting. Another thing about Borderlands that you might have noticed by now is that there is actually a day and night cycle. So now it turned dark. We can enter the bandit facility over here, and that's actually the uh, bloodshot symbol. 
the eyes are bloodshot, so southpaw, steam and power. You might think indoors I have less of a use for the sniper rifle, and I might be in some of the areas, but it's pretty wide open in this area, so... Ooh, double iridium. That is always nice. Giving us more buying options, just open all that up. And then... Let's move into the facility itself. And there you can see the wanted posters for uh, all of the Vault Hunters. Salvador, Axton, Zero, and Maya. I love the fact that sometimes the bandits just have these uh, weird British accents almost. There we go. So bandits have the same crappy accuracy uh, weapons from bandits, of course. And I think there's one with a shotgun over there. So I'm gonna let that thing do its work and then shotgun him from close range. And then I can jump down right on... Right on top, right on top. Just melee him. There we go. Fisticuffs. We only killed 15 guys so far with a melee weapon, but I think he's actually on the other side of this area. Let's go back up using the ladder. Don't think there's a way of opening those beforehand. If I can jump on the ladder. I'm a freaking cyber ninja, but sometimes I'm having trouble getting up ladders. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to move on. Usually these levels are pretty straightforward. Just gonna have to be careful. The psychos can burn. So there's a oh, there's an electric thing over there. I think it blew up right next to him. Okay. Oh, that's. If that kills Walt, I'm sorry. Yeah, it kills him. <laughs> Didn't kill him with a with a pistol there. Didn't expect him to come so soon, actually. But, Assassin's Orders, the, from the desk of Handsome Jack. Alright, you mindless gun hands. You're looking for a really hot chick with blue tattoos and mystical powers. A siren, specifically one named Lilith. The official reports say she died in New Haven, but I'm positive she's hiding out near Sanctuary. If you catch wind of her, tell me and I'll pay you enough money to build a mansion made out of other... Smaller mansions. I want everything you got. So there we go. That's the uh, warrant out for Lilith. And uh, Lilith is supposed to be dead, actually. Which is an interesting way of uh, introducing us to that. Just gonna fire away at these guys with the burn. Ready and try to hide a bit. This guy has a shield. Oh. Hi, Psycho. They are fine. So next up, we have Assassin Oni. And Assassin Oni, we need to kill with a sniper rifle. We have that equipped this time, so I'm gonna have to focus on that. But I don't think he has spawned just yet. So he's burning. I'm gonna keep the sniper rifle shot. Because I think he's there. So he's gonna drop the grenade regardless. That's gonna actually damage the other Suicide Psycho. And there's the last one. Now then, I think the big guy is Oni. That's a grenade. I can't get it. There we go. Just gonna grab a bit more ammo because I'm starting to run low on the SMG. Ow. There he goes. Okay, there's Oni. And then I can use the... Oh, kind of missed him there. It was close range, but I kind of only lost his... Sh oh, wow, he has a lot of health. Put your weapons down. Okay. I move for the kill. Um, I almost there we go. We got him with a sniper rifle this time. So we get an extra grenade mod. Burning, burning grenades. Yeah, I just realized you grunts are going to get yourselves killed without this little tidbit. All sirens are born with different crazy-ass powers. You cannot, I repeat, 
cannot win a fight with them in one-on-one -on -one combat. If you see Lilith, contact me immediately. I can handle her. You can't. Me, yes. You know. So there we go. Lilith has, as all sirens, same as Maya, has magic powers. And Lilith's ones, Lilith could actually face shift. Meaning she could go into another dimension, becoming invulnerable for a while before she pops back out at another place. Kind of like, similar to actually what Zero does. Um, I actually have a skill point I can use, and that's probably our fifth skill point if I'm not mistaken. That goes right into the Bloodshed Tree with Killing Blow, up to 500% on low health enemies. There we go. And then we unlock the next tree over here, and then we can... Uh, be like water, that's actually an interesting one. So it upgrades gun damage after your melee attack and melee damage after your gun shot, which allows you to switch between the two. Or the kill skill, killing an enemy causes your shields to quickly regenerate and increases your action skill cooldown for a few seconds. So that's per kill, which is gonna be really, really handy. So that's definitely the one we're gonna go for next. And the next one, we need to kill Assassin's Reed with a melee attack, which is fine. Don't know what, don't know what's happening with the noise. It's echoed a bit, which is weird. Especially if I'm gonna throw a grenade into this uh, small hallway in a second. There we have another weapons chest, uh, slick iron again, but it's not that much better than the one we already had. Although I, I'm assuming we can swap that out. For now, I'm pretty happy with our loadouts. And there's another type of bandit that's been uh, killed here. I'm just gonna toss a grenade over here. Let's kill those. And a lot of them just... I uh, don't know what's happening with the noise. Try to pause, but it's kind of freaking out. Wow, that's loud. Let's reload the shotgun while invisible. There we go. I don't know why my shields didn't come back. Oh god, that's right on top of the grenade. He just dodged a shotgun. Blast! Get over here, you dick. So now we're up to another gate. Oh, that's... I don't know why I threw that grenade. Wow, that keeps going, doesn't it? And there's Assassin Reed. So let's just set him on fire if I can. I wanna, I wanna stab him, but... There we go. With a melee attack. Come on, kill me. This naturally leads me to assume some unspoken connection between sirens, iridium, and the vault. I have determined two additional things. Firstly, that she can be irritating when others pluck out strands of her hair under the guise of needing them for scientific experimentation. And secondly, that they taste like olives. Wait, no, fried pickles. So Patricia has done some research about uh, sirens. And it's all useless, but this is not useless. I can see my house from here. 11 times weapon zoom. Which means you can probably shoot something from across the map. And a 100% extra critical hit damage. That is amazing. And look at this thing. Wow, okay. We're getting onto the cooler weapons already, which is great. This is what Borderlands is all about. Those nifty looking... Really awesome weapons. And what's... Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's an 11 times zoom, all right. That's gonna be a problem in close quarters. <gasps> Which means we're just gonna have to be careful in close quarters. Another weapons chest over here. Probably not gonna be... Ooh, maybe that's an upgrade for the shotgun, though. It is a bit. So that's 13 damage extra, but there's one extra in the clip. Which means that is great. Because that means we can shoot three times instead of two times. Ah, we're gonna leave that there. That's 
pretty useless for now. I really like the explosive shotgun effect, because if you hit something, you get a bit of a, an area of effect to it as well. Ooh. Okay. So this is one of those typical load up before you go into the next room rooms. And as you might have noticed, the assassins are actually leveling up as well. So the first one was level 8 or 9, but the last one was already level 10. So I'm guessing this one is going to be level 11. Usually it's pretty well balanced, but uh, I feel like this is going to hurt. Another weapons chest with just more pistols. That's pretty much it, so let's head in. Let's head in. This is going to hurt. So, assassin roof with a shotgun. Oh, wow. Ow. These guys didn't, didn't wait a single second, did they? Molly won. You know what? Fuck this. And listen. Yeah, explosions. The psychos I can deal with. There we go. I don't know what, what's causing the echo, but this is starting to be a bit ridiculous. There we go. We actually get that extra visual effect if it triggers the uh, critical hit. God damn, this is loud. I'm probably gonna have fixed that. No, no. There we go. Let's just explode that over there. I'm kind of staying near the entrance because otherwise I'm going to get surrounded anyway. And I can pull back to the stairs if needs be. I'm just going to move around with the shotgun. Because I need it in a second anyway. Oh, wow. He just turned into a big pile of blood, didn't he? So if I can get the chance, should probably shoot from over here. The pallets might actually have a bit of travel time. Oh, wow. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Oh, wow. He just dodged that. Oh, I'm almost, I almost have him. There we goes. Time to go to work indeed. So that's crap. So let's just pick up the oh, yeah. and since you echo recorder. Evidently don't know how to listen. I'll say it again. Stop bringing in fake sirens. Only six sirens can exist in the universe at any given time. And I already know of three. You're not going to convince me. You happen to find one of the remaining three just by drawing blue tattoos on some random chick's corpse. Well, I will admit it was wildly amusing the first dozen times you idiots tried it, but now my office smells like blood and marker fumes. So quit it! So there we go, blood and marker fumes. So they tried to uh, fool Jack into thinking that they found the siren, but as he said, that's actually really interesting. There can only be six sirens at one time in the world, and he knows of three, which is interesting, because <gasps> we only know of two. We know about Lilith, and we know about Maya. So who's the the third one, right? That's a bit a bit of an awkward detail just to add in a side quest there. But that's basically assassinate the assassins. With that done, we can move on to other things. Let's just open that up. But of course, we can end this up with a weapons chest, and it's one of those fancy weapons chests with grenade molds. I think mine is still a little more, a little better than these. I'm gonna probably be using that grenade mod for quite a while. Because it's just, it's just a, a kill switch, isn't it? Throw that in the room and everything dies. And that's the gate back to, well, kind of the Skyrim door, right? Back to the exit. So next quest will be Dr. Zed's quest. The reason I'm doing these quests in this order is that actually Doc Mercy's lair is right outside the steam factory that we just went to. So right over here is Doc Merc's, Mercy's uh, hideout. So we're gonna head straight in to see what mysterious weapon he has been using. And of course this means a lot more other bandits to kill. I think the audio is back to normal now. 
Which is good, because that was a bit annoying. Just gonna start off with a grenade. You sat my there they go. The psycho ran off. You almost would think that he's a smart one. Your eyes deceive you. And there we have the sniper rifle. Okay. There he goes. And there he goes. So this is a bit also a, a bit of a wave based battle so the higher we go the more dudes there will be just gonna swap over to the shotgun or is it just dog mercy i'm kind of misremembering i think because i feel like we're already at the top might have missed a few uh, ways because we're coming from the other side keep your mitts off my toys finders keepers losers die now what in the hell's he got looks like your family was about to break my time too can you kill me? He can. There he goes. What is next? What good's your fancy pantsy mid school degree now? Huh, Mercy? Good job, Vault Hunter. Search his body. I'll be damned. That's e tech I can actually turn it in on his corpse for some reason. There we go. Ah, we got a bit of money and experience. But now that we found an e tech gun, it's time to try it out. Street people shot by e tech I'm gonna need way more wounds to practice on. Uh, now that you got Doc Mercer's E-Tech gun, why don't you test it out on the local bandits? Um, I would love to, but there's like... There's like a... Oh, God. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna have to swap the sniper rifle out for the greasy biaster. So that uh, pink color is just specific for Iridium weapons. So E-Tech weapons. It consumes two ammo per shot. And its accuracy is all over the place, so we're gonna have to see if this is even worth shooting with. And it kind of shoots like a laser gun. So there we go, shooting uh, purple energy blasts. So, I don't know if you heard Dr. Zed talking while we were doing this, but uh, he was talking about the fact that there are a lot of different types of E-Tech weapons, and the weapons actually change their effect depending on which type of weapon it is. So, assault rifles like this one just transform into those energy assault rifles. But like, for example, uh, sniper rifles turn into fully blown railguns. Railguns, that's it. Railguns. They turn into railguns, so they, they shoot one very powerful energy beam that actually ricochets off of objects as well. I need to kill bandits over here, but I think there's none left. I think I killed everybody. So I'm gonna just go back to the steam factory and maybe uh, do quickly do the uh, skill point as well. So over here, Grim, so uh, killing an enemy causes our shields to quickly regenerate and our action skill to come back quicker, which is always very nice. And at the Steamworks, the enemies actually have respawned. Although it sounds like he's outside and not inside. That is interesting. The Skags, don't know if that counts. Doesn't seem to count. It needs to be a bandit. So those are Skags. So those dogs we saw at the beginning of the game. In the beginning cinematic. And underneath our experience bar, you can see the icon pop up if we're under the effect of the kill skill. So, kind of went out of my way to go to the next bandit hideout, the Split Skull Bay, which has a few, like, it's like a little house on top of the water. Don't know why they built their house here, but, ooh, nope, no, nope. I thought it was more interesting than it seemed. But, a badass nomad over there. That's not actually hitting anything, is it? And that counts, okay, that's good. He's gonna get a bit more ammo. Just gonna jump around a bit. 
They can still hit me from over there. And I don't have anywhere to go, so that's just... How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Oh god, that was a problem. So there we go. The reason why Hyperion has been uh, mining Iridium is to actually get more and more money because they're selling Iridium powered weapons. So I think there's one more above us. I think there was, yeah, Iridium drop over here. The Fire Fire Scatter Gun. Might actually want to take that. Just gonna ignore those guys for a second because I need ammo if I want to finish this quest. So it's actually one of those areas that is a bit annoying because the enemies actually respawn rather quickly. So by the time you're at the end of this area, the enemies actually come back. I think there's a psycho behind me. Ow. I've come to a medically sound conclusion. Hmm. E-Tech is freaking dumb. Come on back to me whenever you're done out there. I'm in the water. Gonna have to move up over here. And actually swap out the shotgun as well to that fire shotgun. That's, that's gonna be nice. Ooh. Crazy Marauder on the other side there. Oh, that's not good. Just gonna get closer. I let him... Wait, what? Did he just jump over? Bye. Bye. And there we go. 11 shots in this thing, which is really, really nice. And then there's more. Ooh, I could actually use a new shield. High capacity, but reduces maximum health. Might as well try that. There we go. High capacity, but reduces maximum health. Seems to be fine for now. So that's that mystery dealt with, which means we can actually move back to Sanctuary for a bit and see about that. But I think I'm going to head over there to the top and get that weapons chest over here now that we're here. So moving all the way to the top of the building, we get another weapons chest with ooh, electricity feedback. That would be... Hmm. It's 175 with a really slow recharge delay as well. So I think I'm going to leave the spike damage for now. Because I have a better one. I have a better one. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to open up that port of body. There might actually be one up there as well. But I'll let you guys know if I find anything useful. Aha, there we go. We have a car trunk weapons chest. And we have handguns. Not really that useful. Not really that useful. So I think I'm just gonna grab yeah, whatever I can for ammo. And then move over here. And maybe check out the final weapon chest. There we go. There's three on this side, which is nice, but that's also crap. So moving back to Sanctuary. Next time on Borderlands 2, we kill some bone farts. <laughs> That's right, we're calling them bona farts now. Just kill a few of them or something, I don't care anymore.